it is your boy Koki Entertainment, man. You know, I'm smashing y'all back with a feel me banger, man. Yeah, I say smash because I feel like y'all gotta keep smashing that subscribe button. But nah, anyways, though, I ain't really gonna do too much talking today. I am gonna do some talking. I am not gonna lie to y'all. But today, it is story time. But I'm gonna, you know, I got some food. You feel me? Clovers, clovers, crovers, clovers. What? Bro, what are you talking about? Whatever. Y'all get the point. Y'all know what it's called. But, yeah, you know, I'm going to tell y'all, you know, about the bad luck that Cole has that y'all really don't know about. I have bad luck. So, um, yeah, let's get into more to the video. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. Let's get it. Hey, man, this is the straight, raw, authentic, you feel me, mukbang, as y'all looking and seeing, you feel me, but... Uh, yeah, though, I just want to talk to y'all about luck. So, if y'all don't really know me, people, the ones that's watching that do know me, I'm always in some other bull. What I mean by that is, it's just like, for instance, like, you know, say if you out three hours away and you win a whip and the car just break down. Just, it's just, I don't know, bro. It's like, God just don't, he don't really mess with coke. Um, it's just certain things that doesn't fall my way, which on a normal average person, is gonna fall their way. So let me give you a couple examples by what I mean by that. So let me date it back all the way to when I was in high school. So uh, I graduated high school, if you, the ones that don't know, I graduated in 2018. Basically been driving since I was 16, so that will be in about 27. No, I've been driving since I was a freshman actually in high school. So that should tell you what it is and what I mean by that. For instance, I ain't even I ain't even saying this on a car type of thing, just my luck in general. Like I'm just using a car like a car situation as an example. So uh I remember one time, you feel me, uh my boy CB, CB3, you feel me, Lil Malik, Toupee Leap, man, you feel me? They was like, bro, let's go to Cedar Point, whoop de whoop. You feel me? I'm like, bet, you feel me? Why not? So we end up, you know, end up picking them all up. I was the driver, of course, you know, picking them all up. Whoop de woo. Everything was cool, you know, got got all the way, almost just about there. Well, got there, really, you know, got to see the point. You know, all I did was basically, like, did like a little turnaround at the little part you go in to see the point, and my whole rim fell off, bro. Like, rim! I'm not talking about my tire, my rim, though! My rim, bro, like, I'm like, bro, like, you feel me, bro, like, okay, that's just one example. And then another situation, you feel me, one time, you know, I'm on a, uh, I'm on the E-Way, E-Way, you feel me, just cruising, getting to a different city, you feel me, this back in what, like, 16, 17, you feel me, and, um, you know, I was just driving around knowing my muffler was, like, kind of off, really, like, it was off. So, you know what I'm on? I'm like, all right, bet. So, while I'm in a whole different city around other people, I'm not going to say pe these people's names or just around other people, my whole muffler scraping the ground, bro, like car from the flame up, catch on fire, the whole nine. So, you know what I did as <laughs> cocaine entertainment? You know what I did? I went right, parked it, parked that muff, parked it like... Psh Walked right behind that motherfucker. He literally yanked it off, boy. Threw that bitch, boy. Like, yeah. But it was just the fact, like, my muffler. And I'm polluting the air. Hella smoke coming out. They all ask me, like, what you just do? I'm like, nah, it's all cool. Whole time, I'm polluting the air. Like, I have no muffler. I'm driving two hours, an hour and a half away back to my city with no muffler. Come on, bro. Like. You can y'all can't tell me. And this is another situation. But May 30th, May 30th of 2020 probably was the longest day I had in a long time. That day was just, it was just too much. So I'm about to tell y'all what happened that day. The whole day. So um, Hey this hey this good though. <laughs> hey! If you live in Ohio and buy clovers, 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 whatever you want to call it, hey, 
pull up, bro. They got the fireest burgers ever. All right, and they got it all. This one got another one, got another one in the bag. I don't play around, so hey. Anyways, though, um, let me get back to the story. So, May 30th, 2020, I woke up, woke up, still had to travel an hour, and um, next thing you know, I'm in back in my city. So, how that went was, you know, one of my homeboys, he's in tapped in both of them. Um, you feel me, Keith, Lil, they done tapped in with me like. You trying to bust this move down to uh, Columbus? I just got back to the city, mind you not, coming from Toledo. So I'm like, all right, that's a bad whoop de -woo. So me knowing me and how my character is, I don't really, the highway don't phase me. So, you know, I already knew, you feel me? I was I was, I was, was driving there, you feel me? I ain't even tripping though. We end up getting there, whoop de -woo or whatever. You know, I, you know how that get, man. You know, you chilling with the... You feel me, cousins? Every, every, like it's a whole, like you feel me, whole little little kickback type going on. The night go by, I end up getting drunk, wet, wet, wet. So this how you this how you know my luck bad. So the next morning I end up waking up because we it was like an Airbnb party, and um I couldn't find my keys. Couldn't find my keys the whole morning. I'm thinking like I really I knew nobody would take them. You feel me? Looking around, looking around, looking around. We done left the Airbnb because they had to clock out at 11. Mind you, nah, we done, we done double back. I done, I done double back in that, broke in that motherfucker. I ain't even gonna lie. If y'all if watching this, the ones who got that Airbnb, if y'all watching this, hey, if you know, you know. I, I ain't gonna lie, I broke back in that bitch. I, <laughs> hey, I ain't even gonna sit here and lie to y'all, bro. I had to. I, I thought I lost my keys. My, my car was outside. I'm in a whole different city, you feel me? Columbus, Ohio, I'm in a whole different city, you feel me? With no keys, so I'm like, hold on, you feel me? I have to double back with a broken area, I'm flipping couches, we doing the absolute most, bro, I promise, absolute most. And um, that's the thing you end up just knowing as I'm patting down in my pockets that I had sweats on, you feel me? All oh, little key, they like, hey, bro, like, is you sure they in here? Like, you feel me? So, because time just going by. So, I'm like, man, they, they got to be in here. Whole time, bro, I checked the sweats. I done checked the sweats. Mind you not, I had that thing in there. I ain't going to tell y'all. Bro, all the kids ain't going to tell y'all what that thing is. For all the people y'all know what that thing is. Had that thing in my pocket. Like, real deal. It's under them, under under the, under that thing the whole time, bro. No cap. It was under the strap the whole time. I was sick, bruh, sick, and wasted day time, wasted my time, so this is where the story get interesting at, more interesting, so uh, we end up staying down there, you know, found the keys, you know, I'm like, all right, it's cool, cool, de woo, so uh, Jay Long, you feel me, my boy Lil, we end up, uh, we end up sliding on his brother, his brother stay down there, you feel me, we end up sliding on him, and as we, you know, as I'm sliding, we sliding on him, you know, we driving there, it's a belt in the street. Columbus, I'ma sue y'all, bro. I'ma really sue y'all, bro. Cause I, I never forget that day, bro. It was a belt in the street, bro. It was a, a metal belt in the street, bro. I ain't even see it. So of course, no one called. I done ran it over. You feel me? Uh, ran it over. You feel me? You striving. Ain't ain't no really none too much of it. I'm thinking like, all right, you ran over a little belt. We get down the street, man. My tire got a hole in it, bro. So we go to AutoZone, uh, buy some stuff, you know, to patch it up, some some Gorilla stuff, you know how that stuff get, man. We end up patching a hole up. So I'm like, all right, mind y'all not. I've been woke since nine o'clock that morning. Nine o'clock, bro, nine o'clock, bro, no cap. I ain't get back to my city. It was 9 a.m. I ain't get back to my city till about eight or nine at night. So I spent a whole nother day in Columbus. But I'm gonna tell you why that happened. Not in Columbus, but just getting back to the city. And I'm going to tell you why. So as we going down, uh, you know, we coming back from Columbus, you know, whoop -de -whoop, I'm pushing and I'm pushing. I'm going like nine. You feel me? Hey, bro, bro, they both tapped in. Like, we we could make it. Like, I'm like, for sure, you feel me? So next thing y'all end up knowing, I get right down, man, I'm like 10 minutes, 15 minutes away from the city. I literally could see the city. I'm like, 
man, probably, man, I'm probably seven, six minutes away. I'm looking at the city coming down. If you know where I'm from, and you've been to Columbus, you will know what I'm talking about. I'm looking at the city. Boom! Boom! The whole tire them blue, cuz. Cuz, like, how? How? I done made it from, bro. How the tire blow on me right when I get right by the city? Like, I couldn't even make it home, bro. That's all I was trying to be on. Couldn't even make it home, bro. So, you know what? Uh, you know what that mean? The car, I, I mean, the tire, ours is blue. So, what that mean? Put it on the side of the road. You feel me? Put it on the side of the road. Let's see what we can do. I'm just thinking the ways, you feel me, how to get it off the road. That long story short, uh, couldn't get it off the road that night. Coming back the next morning, I'm working on it. Me and bro, me and Keith, hey, you a solid one, bro. No cap, hey, hey, you you solid, bro. But anyways, though, um, yeah, bro, you feel me, bro? Bro was really out there, really trying to help me put on the tire, though. Like, ah, uh, like real talk, like whole time we putting it on, but we had to go get uh a rim for the inside of the tire. So I go to Walmart right around like five minutes away from the location. I come back, bro. My car gone, bro. My car gone. Like, really gone. Poof. I go back. It's nothing but grass, rocks, the street. Where's my car? Like, bro. It just be so much stuff I go through off camera that y'all just really don't know about. Like, all just saw like, y'all really don't know about. I have my, I have a lot of good days, don't, don't get me wrong, you know, I, I, I have days, days, dumb days, bad days, bad luck days, you know, like, just for instance, this is my last little thing about this, so, um, the other day, I was stranded for three, like, four hours, bro, literally, just the other day, stranded for four hours, y'all probably like, why, Cole, why are you stranded? I don't know why I'm stranded at this point. Once this happened, this one I had to realize like I don't got I don't got good luck. <laughs> but it's crazy though, because God, I feel like God put his strongest soldiers through the like worst of things. Like, cause like they say, it's a saying, you know, all bad happens before everything good. And you know what's crazy? Like. I really believe that. I'm not, I ain't gonna say, I don't believe a lot of things, but some things, some sayings, I do believe because it, it, it comes into existence. So, you know, I just basically just mount through all the bullshit that people or situations put me through. So, I know, because I know one day you feel me, the shit then they're going, you feel me? I'm gonna be laughing at it one day. Like, really, really, like, like I am right now, like laughing at it. Like, you get through the situation, bro, that's anybody going through anything hard like i'm just here to you feel me tell y'all like no matter what you going through you can't be weak-minded through it like you feel me you gotta just keep eyes ears whatever it is just you gotta just stay focused you gotta just keep on the grind like think stuff behind cameras that y'all don't see like sometimes me uploading a video don't go right like i don't have videos bro like this is my first mukbang i don't had a mukbang Last year in 2020 of April that I had did, um, and the whole video deleted as I was uploading. You know what I could have did as a person? I could have stopped YouTube. I could have stopped everything that I'm doing. Like it's just I, I can't even eat my food because I'll be sometimes so much engaged into learning new things, you know, or just doing this for y'all. You feel me? Like I think about y'all more than with y'all think I, you know, like, think I think on y'all, like, I feel like all my subscribers, you know, everybody that support me, everybody that watch me, you feel me, like, I feel like that's, like, a huge thing to me, for real, like, especially just the outside, like I said, like, just the bad energy, you feel me, bad luck, I'm not even gonna say energy, I, I'll take that back, bad luck, I mean, um, you know, just certain situations that I can't really have control over, it's just a God's type of thing, so I just look up, uh, during situations like that, I just pray really like, you feel me? Or I just get through the situation, but yeah, though, man, like 
I could go, it's crazy. I could go on and on and on and on and on about the bull that happens in life. But what is going to sit here and make me as a man, you feel me, to be preaching like to people. Or, like I don't really preach for real. Like something happened to me, it happens, we'll do what I'm over it. I might tell a few people that's close to me about it, but other than that, you will never, like you will always see me in good spirits, high hopes, because I know like, you feel me? Like I said, one day I will be laughing, laughing, laughing at this, like just a whole life, it's just an experience, you feel me? I'm young, I'm grown, I'm only 22, you feel me? Like that's what come with it. Everything ain't gonna be sweet and butter. <laughs> I definitely learned that, like, you feel me? As I'm getting older day by day, so. Like I said, if y'all just going through it, you feel me? Hey, just keep keep God first, man. Keep that, keep praying, you feel me? Hey, and it's gonna get like that, but yeah, man. This that's just really what I had to say, cause I really haven't even really been posted up. Um, yeah. So if y'all going through something, seriously, like if y'all really going through something, you really need high hopes or anything. I mean, you can feel free to comment. You could tap in with me, you feel me? I'll be, I'll talk to you. <laughs> Motherfucking think you lame or wooty woo. Hey, come, come, you can come holla at Cokeen. Hey, I'll come get you turned. Like, you be from a lame to, hey, one of the one ones. Like, no cap, but hey, that's all I got for the day, man. Hey, make sure y'all liking, y'all commenting, make sure y'all subscribing, because this, hey, that boxing event too, in, in, in two weeks, hey, it's finna get like that, man. I got a cut, I got a lot in store that. I'm going to share with y'all probably after the boxing event. I'm not going to really spill too much out right now because it's early. So, yeah, just stay tuned with your boy Cokeen, man. But that's all I got for y'all, man. It's Koei. No way. Yay!